Welcome back, another fortnight has passed and we now get another set of limited time free assets. So to find these you go to a fab, you go to the limited time free, you go to explore now and here we get presented with our free assets in this rotation. This time we get the Sika Dynasty, clay pots and the ultimate interaction manager. To get these assets you need to get them within the next fortnight, so until the next rotation starts and you can get either the personal or professional license for these. The professional one is the safer one since it encompasses more uh, than the personal one does. Uh, so make sure that you get that one, it's probably safer. Anyway, uh, get them, add them to the cart, buy them individually, whatever you want. Let's check them out in more detail. Starting off, we have the Sika Dynasty asset pack. This is created by Sika. It consists of this Asian style demonstration map over here. We can see with a few different particle effects and a bunch of different meshes and lighting and such. Uh, it consists of uh, almost 200 unique meshes and some different constructions uh, out of modular pieces. So if we were to go and check that out, so we can see the showcase map here. In this case, we'll be showing us the different individual pieces. So you can see that inside of here we have, whoa, 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 no, there we go. Uh, we can see we have a for a small asset pack, a decent amount of different uh, parts. We have things like small uh, ornate statues and we have uh, small wooden structures. We have uh, stalls, we have wooden uh, or stone uh, constructions like uh, walls over here, we have some uh, floor tilings, we have some sort of uh, walls over here, some roofs and some trees as well. So all of these things come together to create the demonstration map. And in addition to that, you also have this map of uh, prefab buildings, essentially a, a amalgamation of the different parts into uh, examples of what you could be creating. So the lighting might not show these off in the best way possible, possible I suppose, but um, you can see when it comes to these that they are grouped together as a singular mesh. It is essentially just a grouping, so if you ungroup it you can then click on the individual parts and see uh, how, how these parts were put together to create a construction like this. So you can see that there's some variety among them, although they all uh, look sort of samey. There's not a whole lot of breakup when it comes to the architecture, so they do look very similar even from afar, even though they are uh, different uh, when you come up close and, and check the different construction pieces. Next up we have clay pots created by Delsar Studio. So this asset pack, uh, to no one's surprise, is consisting of pots um, made out of clay. Uh, you can see that the detail is very, very nice. Uh, and it consists of two sets of 25 pots. One that is a set of nanite and one that is a set of uh, what is called uh, low poly. So in this case, this is one of the assets that uh, is considered low poly. And did not mean to double click that. Here we go. And we can see here that uh, it has um, there we go 12,000 triangles 7,000 vertices so for a pot that's maybe a bit much to call it low poly I don't know but considering maybe the detail is what they want to bring forth in this uh, Maybe that's uh, low poly in a relative sense. Anyway, pretty straightforward overall, and that's that one. Last up, we have the Ultimate Interaction Manager created by Tala Essen Lickler. And in this case, we have a blueprint project that is around the aspect of interacting with different objects. So over here, we can see that we have something on the ground. We can press a key to interact with it, and that makes us grab it, uh, presumably to go in some inventory, I'm assuming it's just going to be destroyed here. We also have these sort of uh, tap interaction buttons, so we say an input for pressing it down. It becomes completed. We have another button over here for a different input. Pressing that one down makes that one become completed. And 
apparently that breaks the widgets. Now it's both interactable and completed over here. Anyway, moving on. Over here we have a hold interaction uh, demonstration for this. So pressing the E key in this case makes us go into a hacking mode. And this progresses for a certain unknown while. Uh, the progress is hidden for the user. And at some point we will light up green because now we have completed the task and it's hacked. And that is the demonstration of the hold interaction. Over here we have a repeat interaction. In this case we need to press the F key multiple times to get a progress bar. If we don't press it for a while we can see that it actually loses progress and we need to compensate by more presses to complete it. If we manage to fill up the progress bar it turns into a completed function. Uh, we can see that there are still a bunch of different widgets floating all around for some reason. Uh, maybe the demo is a little bit bugged. Uh, over here we have a wheel, so in this case we have an interaction for E and we can press that and if we let go at any point it resets to its original state. If we let this actually progress so that it's completed, it will instead keep the door open. And those are the four, four different aspects that this interaction uh, system is actually demonstrating its functionality. Uh, the core is based upon components, you have something that's used for the one that is interacting and one that's being used as the interaction target. And these have fairly good groupings when it comes to the different uh, objects. Uh, there's a lot of them, maybe too many, but maybe that's part of the aspect of trying to make it configurable. I haven't been able to delve that far in with the limited time I had. But yeah, clicking through these, you can see that there are comments on some of these. Uh, functions. Most functions seems to just have one large comment around the whole thing, so not very detailed commenting available for the functionality. This one was a little bit different. It had five different comments. Uh, so the, the comments are limited, but at least there's something there. Um, it is a little bit more grouped when it seems to be on the actual interactor side. This system also boasts that it is uh, possible to use in server client. So uh, I'm assuming that the, the demo would work in a similar manner that it worked now, which was a, a little bit buggy uh, when it came to all the different widgets and such. But yeah, that's essentially the, the asset in its whole. So uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, remember to pick these up within the next fortnight if you want to keep them free forever. Uh, otherwise, they will go back to their normal price and you will not be able to get them. Let me know in the comments what you think about the assets we got this time around. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.